In this screencast, I'm going to be going over how to install a personal web server onto your own computer, and then how to get a working copy of WordPress onto that web, ser web server so you can use it for developing uh, your own personal website. Now, I'm going to be go going over uh, the installation of the Macintosh version of the web server. Uh, so for you PC users, I'm going to link an to another video which will show you how to install the Windows equivalent. They're both very similar, um, but um, uh, I won't be showing the Windows version uh, right now. The, once, once you're finished with that installation, you can come back here for the WordPress install, which will be uh, exactly the same as the Windows. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to www.mamp.info and um, we want to download this program uh, called MAMP. Kind of a funny name, but MAMP stands for Macintosh, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. All of those are very common web uh, software uh, applications that are free um, that will allow you to put the server onto your own computer. Apache is the server. Uh, MySQL is the database, and PHP is the language that uh, WordPress uses and a lot of web applications use as well. So we're going to click on this download now button here uh, underneath the non-pro version of MAMP and download the application. It's actually pretty big at 171 or so megabytes. Once it's finished downloading uh, we get a disk image which we just start um, agree to their terms and it brings up this window here uh, now what we're going to want to do uh, is just simply to install it, just grab this MAMP folder and drag it into the Applications folder, and it'll copy over into your Applications. I've already, already done that, and here in my Applications folder, you can see that MAMP uh, is here with a bunch of files, and I'm just going to uh, launch the application. And what happens here... Uh, two windows pop up. Uh, the first one is the MAMP window, which is there as long as the program is open, and it launches a start page. And there are three things here which show me that it's working. Uh, the first two are these uh, green lights uh, next to Apache and MySQL servers, uh, and also this uh, launch page is also an indication that the server is working. Um, so there's one, one uh, preference uh, that we're going to want to change, uh, most things are fine by default, and this I'm only going to change it for my convenience. Uh, what I'm going to do is in this MAMP window, uh, hit Preferences. And uh, actually, before I go any further, I'm going to create in my Documents folder a new folder where uh, all my web applications, my uh, WordPress installs and everything will uh, live so I can keep them in one place and um, also a place where MAMP will know to look. So I'm going to make a new folder, my documents, and I'm going to call it localhost. Uh, you can call this whatever you want, whatever makes sense to you. Uh, some people like www or web, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put that in my documents and just leave that alone for now. And now I'm back in my MAMP preference window and I'm going to click on the fourth tab which is Apache. The default is applications forward slash MAMP forward slash htdocs uh, which is fine. Um, I'll show you where that is. Um, it's inside this MAMP folder under htdocs, which is empty. Um, I don't really like to keep my applications there because it's kind of hidden and I usually access those folders much more than I will the MAMP folder itself. So I'm just going to change that and I'm going to navigate to Documents Localhost, select that and press Open, then press OK. Now I get a little pinwheel, it readjusts itself, Everything should be working here momentarily, and we'll check it. So, uh, it should be working now. If I press refresh here, 
everything's fine and we're good to go. Uh, in order to, before we go into WordPress, uh, we're going to want to start a, a, a blank database for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit PHP my admin in this top menu bar, which brings me to my admin page. And I'm going to create a basic database uh, called JTERM. And um, just hit create. Now, there are a lot of things that I can change about this, but I just want to leave it blank. Um, and I don't really need to do anything else. We'll go back to start here and just show you a couple things. Um, the start page shows us the settings on a few of our um, the applications within MAMP. Well, the most important one right now is this MySQL and we can see that the host is set to localhost and the user and password are both set to root. Now these are default and an actual deploy deployment uh, online uh, you'll want to have much more secure usernames and passwords um, but for your own installation it really doesn't make a difference so we'll just leave those the same. Now on to WordPress. Um, point your browser to wordpress.org, which is different than wordpress.com, and you see that there are two links on the front page for download. I'm just going to click the blue one, and then you click the download WordPress 3.0.4. You want to download the most recent one, um, which I've already done, and that will download this folder, WordPress folder, and it's full of a bunch of files uh, which you don't need to worry about now, but we'll go over later. And I'm just going to rename this folder. Um, I'm going to call it JTERM. JTERM is fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter uh, for right now, and um, I'm just going to move that now to my newly created localhost folder. So if I pull up that folder there, it's empty. Drag in JTERM. And that's that. So now when I go back to my browser, open up a new tab, I'm going to navigate to localhost colon 8888. Now 8888 is the uh, port number um, that MAMP uses and localhost is the uh, tells the browser that it's just going to be on your machine. It's not looking outside to the internet or anything. Uh, it's all only looking going to be looking at the files on your computer. So I hit enter and I see here I get a very simple uh, listing of all the folders and if, uh, if there are files it will show files also. Um, and I see that the folder that I just dropped in, JTERM, is there. So I'm going to, go, I'm going to click on that. And I get this little page that says, uh, ask me to create a configuration file. Just click on the button. It tells me to gather a few things, including uh, mostly things about the database. Um, name, username, password, host. And uh, so we've got all that stuff. We just created the, the database. Asked me what the database name was. I named it JTERM. The username, as I showed you before, is root. Password is also root. Database host is localhost. Uh, you can see that up here in the browser. Um, and the table prefix, uh, we'll just leave that alone and hit submit. Um, everything's okay so far, so we run the install. And we get this little welcome page, and it asks us to enter in a little bit of information about ourselves and the website. So I'm going to title it JTERM, site title JTERM. This can be whatever your website's called. Username, I'm going to change it to jbergen. Password. And my email address. Um, and this last option um, lets you hide your website from search engines like Google. 
really doesn't matter because Google won't be able to see this since it's located only on your local machine. So I'll leave that alone and hit the install WordPress button. And we get a success page. Click the login button and it takes us to a login screen. Enter in my information. Why not? Then it takes us to the WordPress dashboard and now that we can see the dashboard we know that uh, not only is the server working but WordPress is also working as expected. When we navigate to localhost um, forward slash jterm we see that we get the blog and this is the standard uh, blog uh, WordPress template. Um, we saw the Dashboard was working, we were able to log in with our created username and password, and everything uh, works as expected. Um, in the next lesson, I'll show you how to change the theme and uh, some basic uh, editing techniques.